Mayor de Blasio says the treatment of bodies at a funeral home in Brooklyn is, quote, unconscionable. Several dozen deceased were found in unrefrigerated rental trucks. As CBS 2's Tony Aiello tells us, a report in backlog of cremation services may be partly to blame here. The crematory behind Woolworth Chapel at Woodlawn in the Bronx is just five miles from Pelham Funeral Home. But Director Clive Anderson is not using Woodlawn. He's sending deceased to Connecticut for cremation. Um, we're very fortunate that we've been able to find a crematorium out of state. Um, that way we're not waiting four to six weeks to have a cremation done. Um, we can do it within um, a few days, um, which means that we don't have to um, store people here at the funeral home. The massive backlog at the city's four cremation facilities is reportedly a big factor behind the shocking scene at Cleckley Funeral Home in Flatlands, Brooklyn. Dozens of decomposing bodies improperly stored in unrefrigerated rental trucks. Operator Andrew Cleckley could face fines from the state in addition to scorn from the mayor. Why on earth did they not uh, either alert the state the, who regulate them or go to their NYPD precinct and ask for help do something rather than uh, leave the bodies there. It's unconscionable to me. And it's outrageous to families of the deceased. The fact that I expected to lay my mother down properly with respect and at a reasonable time. No, no responses, no answers. Dominic Corella has 32 years in the industry. He says the pandemic's wave of death threatens to overwhelm small operations such as the one in Brooklyn. A few individuals that are just accepting calls that they can't handle and they're not reaching out for help and it's not fair to the families that they're servicing. The city's cremation facilities are working at capacity and booked into June. Between early February and mid-April, 15,000 more people died in New York City compared to the same period last year. Tony Aiello, CBS2 News.